Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a client makeover. I figured I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I wanted to do an updated version. This is my beautiful sister-in-law. She decided to be my model today. All I'm doing is just prepping her lips with some Vaseline to hydrate. Now we're going to take the Mario Badescu facial setting spray and give her face a thin sprints all over. Next, I took the Juno and Company Moonshine Miracle Cream Moisturizer slash Primer. This is a product that I've been using for a while to kind of test and see where it stands with me. It's a perfect product, thick enough to fill in the pores without overly clogging them. Moisturizing enough where it doesn't sit on top of the skin, it really sinks in beautifully in time for the foundation. Like always, I'm going to start with the brows. I am just brushing them upwards, getting a feel for them, seeing if she has any gaps anywhere. Next, I'm going to take this concealer. This one's from LA Girl Concealer. And we're going to carve out the top part of her brows. Only because she has a lot of pigmentation on her forehead. And we're going to make sure that we cover that up as much as possible without caking it up. So this part is necessary before starting to actually fill in her brows. The palette that I'm using to fill in her brows is from BH Cosmetics. It's like this universal brow palette. It's actually really great. I use it on a ton of my clients and the colors that come inside of it is so universal. You don't need a lot. I definitely could compare it to the Anastasia brow palette, but you don't need that much colors in this one because you're able to mix and match so well with it. But it's a really great palette. If you guys are interested, I'll have the link down below for you guys so you can check it out. See if it's something that you would like to add in your own kit. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking my time and really filling out her brows, but she has a really good shape as it is. So I'm trying not to overly fill them. Next, I took another shade, which is just lighter than what we used on the top part of her brows to carve out the bottom. And I also applied it all over her eyelid to act as an eyeshadow base. I then took this color correcting shade from LA Girl Concealer. It's the darkest orange shade they have and I'm just going over the dark areas that she has all over her face and we're going to color correct that and blink that out. I took a little more of that setting spray and I used it to give her a little quick sprints again so we can help the concealer move a little better. Usually when you apply a cream straight onto the face from the tube or the jar, it's a little hard to move around because it wasn't warmed up first. So that's what this step is for, is to help the product move a little better. I took the NARS Luminous Foundation in Seracruz to cover up the orange before moving into the eyes just because I didn't want her looking into the camera so crazy as I was doing her eyes. I wanted her to kind of look at herself and be like, oh, okay, it's coming together. So I'm sorry I didn't show the bottle, but I will show it because I am going to mix this foundation with another color in the future. So stay tuned to that clip. Now that we basically have her forehead one toned, I'm going back in with that lighter concealer shade and I'm going to recarve out the top part of her brows so we can have a nice seamless blend from the foundation to her brows. The only palette we're going to use today is the Anastasia Soft Glam. We're going to take Burnt Orange as her transition color. This color is very close to her skin tone, so it barely showed up, but it was a perfect shade to start with, so we can prep it for the other colors to come. Next, I'm gonna take Tempera and we're gonna use it for her brow bone highlight. And because this shade is super, super light on her, I made sure to blend that out after applying. Next, I'm gonna take Sienna, which is just slightly darker, and we're gonna focus it on the outer corner of her eye. I wanted to create that light to dark look, so I'm gonna build it to the intensity that I want and then blend it out after.
Next color we're going to take is Cypress Umber, which is this matte brown shade in the palette. And I'm softly going to build this color up right on top of Sienna. I'm not going to make this too intense because she wanted the softest effect of the shade. So we're going to build it up little by little without trying to apply too much at one time. So I mixed these two shades, which is Fairy and Glistening, and we applied it all over her lid from inner to middle, and I stopped it where it was beginning to meet the darker colors in the outer corner, but I placed this all over her eyelid. I even brought it up pretty high into her crease because I wanted to give her that really eye-opening look. I then applied a little bit more of Cypress Umber to blend the two shades a little better together. But I did sprint my brush when picking up those shimmer shades to make it a little more metallic while going on. So she didn't want a winged eyeliner look, so she had me draw a really thin line across her lashes so we can mend the fake lashes we're about to put on with her real lashes. All right, before you guys say anything, this is her mascara that I'm using to apply right now. I made sure to tell her to bring her own just because, you know, the deal. We cannot be sharing or anything like that. And if I was going to put mascara on my clients, I do have disposables to use. For foundation, I took these two. They're both from NARS. I will have the name and the color listed down below for you guys if you're interested. But I actually did not apply as much as it looks like on camera right now. It's just the spread of this foundation together is amazing. I don't need that much on her skin. But I'm just applying it all over with a flat brush and going in with the Beauty Blender to blend it out. So now I'm applying her lashes midway into doing her foundation. I took her lashes that she brought from home, which is the Ardell Wispies, and I applied some dark adhesive so we can really blend it better with her actual lashes. She has mascara on these lashes to customize it to how she likes it. So that's what we're doing. And then I'm going to jump right back into her foundation and finish it up. I am taking my favorite contour stick. This is from ColourPop. It's their no filter foundation stick actually. And I'm applying it to her normal areas of the face that I would contour. This is a perfect shade for her. It was like one shade darker than her complexion. So it was the perfect contour shade. I mean, you guys can see, like, look how seamless that looks when it blends. For the first concealer, I took the Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer and applied it underneath her eyes just to provide the best coverage. Next, I took the same concealer we used to carve out the brows to apply right on top just because I felt like it was the slightest bit lighter than the Too Faced one. So I used this down the bridge of her nose, in the middle of her chin, and in the middle of her forehead to highlight. To set her face, I'm taking the Anastasia Loose Powder in Banana and I'm pressing it in with the Tati Beauty pad. To further bronze up her face, I'm taking the Morphe Bronze and Highlight Palette in Medium to Deep and I took Fabulous and I'm just hitting the areas that we use to cream contour. For 
cream blush i took the anastasia lip palette and that orange coral shade and i'm popping it right onto the apples of her cheeks for the powder blush i took my little blush palette and this is the nars super orgasm blush and i took it for the shimmer and popped the tiniest bit right on top for the lower lash line i took a mixture of cypress umber and sienna and i just did a quick dust underneath her eyes she didn't want it too dark so I just wanted the color to be nice and visible. We did not apply anything in her waterline because she didn't want anything, so we kept it nice and natural. And now I'm just applying a little bit of mascara. For the inner corner and cheekbone highlight, I took the Morphe highlight and bronze palette again, and I just did a mixture of all three shades and popped it right on. For lips, I started with this lip liner, which is from NYX. I'm not sure of the name. I'll have it listed below again. But we wanted to achieve a nude lip. So I started with this lip liner. And then I applied this liquid lipstick on top that was too light and too pinky for her. So you guys are going to see her face. like She's like, uh, <laughs> I don't like this. So as I was done applying it all over and trying to blend it in, we just knew that it didn't look good with the look. So I go back in with this liquid lipstick from BH Cosmetics. I believe the name is Juliana, I'm not sure, but I'm going right on top so we can neutralize that pink and I'm doing it as if I'm filling in her lips as a lip liner. And then I go in and blend it out with a buffing brush to kind of blend it into the pink so it has that nice fade. And then I go right on top with this Fenty lip gloss and it's the Universal Bomb one. And that is the completed lip combo look. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, don't forget to like and sub on your way out. And I will see you guys in my future vids.